just follow me. Way to get out of that tough spot. I, I have just got to have a limited edition Pokemon Pikachu. I got to have it. Everyone's getting it. I just got to have it. Nobody's got it. And that's all I need is fighting with other shoppers for a, a Pikachu thing, whatever it is. You know. <laughs> but I got to have it. I have to have it. And not to mention all the other things on my list. Can I have my money now? No, we're going to be civilized. And Shelby, please take the glasses off, okay? We're not going to be pushing and shoving around in the crowds. I mean, this is Christmas, a time of happiness and goodwill. What's up with mom? I've never seen her run so fast. Well, there was that one time when dad mowed over her rose bushes and she guys, fell. Guys, guys, that's enough. Mission completed. I mean, mission accomplished. Pastor Harper and the others, they're going to be at the mall. How come he always gets the assignment? When do I get a solo mission? Guys, 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 y'all stop the arguing. Now look, let's remember our purpose for being here. You see, this family has lost the meaning and the message of Christmas. Hmm, uh, yes, they really seem to be caught up in the material things. Exactly. Well, so what are we supposed to do? Well, you guys just follow me now. We're going to go over there and tell them who we are and why we're here. But let's first, please guys, let's start out with a little bit of light conversation. Come on. Hey folks, hey, hey, how y'all doing tonight? I mean, I see you're out shopping here in the mall and look like you're having a good time. Yeah, man, I'm having a blast. I love Christmas shopping. All oh, the hustle, the bustle, the crowds, and the big plus, all my credit cards are over their limit. <laughs> how come you guys don't have any bags? How do y'all get out of it? What do you say to your wives that make them understand guys don't shop? Well, it's, uh, Kind of complicated. I got all the time in the world, pal. Hey, I don't mean to be nosy, but it's Christmas, and we have a lot of shopping to do. We have a lot to get for ourselves, well, and of course others. Even people you don't like. That's enough. I still don't have my jeans. Or friends. Oh. One happy all-American family. This is going to be a fun job. I hate coming here at Christmas. It's too crowded, you spend too much money, and all of this for one day of the year. Hey, look at this! And this! And this! And it's on sale too! I gotta have it! Gotta buy this, gotta buy that, gotta buy something special.
time to slow down. Oh, great. Here come my friends. Quick. Hi, me. We wish we could. Hey, she's right over here. Shelby's over here. She's right here. Uh, Billy? Shelby, how's it going? Um, who are all these people? <laughs> my uh, family. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm glad I got cool parents. They don't care about anything that I do. Yeah, I can tell. Shut up, Billy. Sorry, girls. Shelby's busy right now. This is family time. Mom. What's family time? Um, yeah, okay. Um, Shelby, we'll catch you later. Come on, guys. Bye, Shelby. Well, look, if we're going to get all this Christmas shopping done, let's get going. I don't want to miss the whole game. We're messengers from God. Shh, shh, hey, hey. We're, 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 shh, sorry. We're kind of work out for that. Excuse me there, pal. What was that you just said? Yep. We're messengers from God. Messengers from God, huh? What is this, candid camera or something? <laughs> no, no. We, we really usually try to work up to that, but we are messengers from God. Hmm. You see, we've been sent to tell you the true meaning of Christmas. Us? Why, why us? Why our family? Look, you don't have to ask so many questions. Yeah. Come on, follow us. We'll explain later. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hey, hey Dad, are you sure these guys are safe? I mean, are you sure you want me to bring out a blaster rifle? I don't you know. know to maybe, protect us. Maybe they just forgot to take their medication. Let's, let's humor them for a little while. Hey, when we get a chance, we'll make a run for it. Yeah, let's get something to eat. Are you guys serious? Oh, man, not only do my friends see me with my family, they see me with these three psychos. reputation is shot. What rep? Hey, prove your messengers from God. I mean, you got a badge or something? Oh, okay, Billy. All right. Anne, do you remember the time you were in the hospital trying to deliver Billy? You almost lost him. How? We were there. How were you there? How could you know anything about that? Dave. Father Dave. Remember when the doctors thought you had Cancer? We were there. Dad, you never told us that. Oh, yeah, young Billy. God has sent us to take care of your family many times. Yeah. And this time, God wants us to show you how that very first Christmas, so long ago, changed the world forever. Well, I'll tell you what. You got our attention now. Well, you see, the Lord sent an angel to Mary, to tell her that she was going to have God's son. Mary was a virgin, and soon to be married to Joseph. A virgin having a baby? How's that going to happen? Shh, shh. The baby is put there by God. She's a young girl much like you, Shelby. Man, I bet her family is angry. How do you explain that? I had a lot of friends who had kids. I wonder how she felt. She was scared, frightened, but she knew this was God's perfect plan.
that's what made this couple so amazing. They both had to trust in God in a way that few people ever do.
God wanted you to know the birth announcement he sent to earth. Do you know how he made the announcement? Hmm? Duh, of course not. Oh, that's okay. Hey, we've got some friends that are going to help us with this. It's great. Hold on yeah. to your seats. It's really exciting. Yeah, I bet.
Can I talk now? Go ahead. Thank you. Because Joseph was from Bethlehem, they had to go there to register where they were born. Meanwhile, Mary's due to give birth at any time. And the town is so crowded, they couldn't find a room anywhere. So an innkeeper let them use his stable. This is where Jesus was born. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me there were no hospitals, no hotels, no houses? What was the problem here? Didn't anybody else know who this was? A stable. She gave birth in a stable? Ew. <sighs> if this is God's son, couldn't God just kick someone out of their rooms? Well, good point. yes, Billy, he could have. But you see, Jesus never forces his way into anybody's life. I mean, it's just like today. People don't have room in their lives for Jesus. That's right. It appears that you have room that Christmas, everything Christmas has to offer. Do you have room for Jesus?
Come on, it's not that difficult. I mean, I would trade places with them in a second. I mean, they've got me. <laughs> what a privilege. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, that's right, you've got her. You see how difficult it is raising kids? What to do, what not to do, what to give them, what not to give them. Well, you see, David, you're not the only parent that's ever struggled with raising their children. I mean, even Joseph himself wondered, what in the world could he possibly give to the Son of God? Joseph knew God did something pretty amazing when he decided to send the Savior of the world to earth in such a strange way.
be a pretty cool father. Kind of like you, Dad. What? What was that? Did you just say something nice? Yeah. Hey, 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 where'd those guys go? Oh, great. Now's our chance. Shouldn't I make a run for it? Get my jeans? Hey, no, huh? It's been really interesting. You know, and Mary and Joseph seem like a pretty amazing couple. And it's almost as if God knows what people are doing and thinking, even today. I still don't understand how the mall is doing all of this. Dad, can we please stay to see what happens next? Please. No, can't we just go home? Hey, I don't see why we can't stay a little while longer. Great!
and we'll see why all these people bow down to this baby. I bet it would have been awesome to have been part of that night. Yeah, to see Jesus before anyone else. They probably had no idea who they were even looking at. Those kings did. Cool.
guys, what did you think about this so far? Those three wise men were H-O-T hot. Kinda like us? Yeah, right. Are you kidding? They're a lot younger and cuter than you three. Now look, how can we believe that baby is God's son? Well, pay attention. We're going to go ahead about 30 years when Jesus is beginning his earthly ministry. Look, there's Jesus, and he's calling out his disciples. He's telling them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And immediately they drop their nets. Sometimes I know people wonder 
could they leave everything? They didn't hesitate or ask any questions. Well, you see, when Jesus calls you to follow him, you have to be willing to put him first above everything. I don't think I could do that. Are you sure he wants us to leave everything? Everything? Yes. He wants you to be willing to follow him no matter what the cost. News of Jesus' teaching and healing had spread throughout the land. A great number of people are now starting to follow him. But how do they know to follow him? Who do you say that I am? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God.
impressed with Jesus. I have to admit, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, that's some incredible power, bringing a dead girl back to life. Oh, yes. Everyone is excited about Jesus, especially as he makes his way to Jerusalem. People were praising him, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Well, of course they're praising his name. He's doing what no one has ever done, or probably will never, ever do again. But then as Jesus enters the temple, he becomes angry. You see, the people have turned a house of prayer into a den of thieves. They have taken what was meant for good and turned it into evil. They were using the temple to make money. You know, it seems like that's happening today. People are taking Jesus' birthday and turning it into a money-making, gift-buying event. Exactly. I hate to admit this, but we've never included Jesus in our Christmas celebration. Christians 
And non-Christians. Yeah. Everybody gets caught up in buying gifts. I know we have. Let me let you in on a little angelic news here, guys. Christians make mistakes. <laughs> Why people mess up and let you down. Jesus was the only perfect person. All right, but why doesn't God stop this? You see, this was God's plan from the very beginning of time. Hey, hey what are they doing now? Billy, Jesus is having his last Passover meal with his disciples. Even Judas? Yes, even Judas. And Jesus knows what has just taken place. With eyes of love, he sees your soul with a heart of compassion, so faithful and true.
fight them. They didn't have to take him by force. Jesus came willingly.
is being done to her son. <laughs> why didn't God just stop it? I can't understand why Jesus would do this for me. Why couldn't God just stop this? What could possibly hold him on the cross? This was God's plans from the very beginning. Even when Jesus was a baby, he knew that one day he would die for the sins of the world. I know you. I've seen you all my life. A finger on a crucifix. A death without a fight. You're hanging there upon a cross just by your hands and feet. The picture's clear. The story's incomplete. So what was it?
felt, almost losing my son, I can't imagine the pain that Mary is feeling right now. She truly must trust God and His plan, even though she has got to be heartbroken. I knew it. I knew it. You die and that's it! Shut up! We're in the mall! Don't make a scene! 
mean? It doesn't matter. I'm with your father, Shelby. I'm not ashamed to tell people how real Jesus is in my life. That's right. Now that I've seen what he's done for me. I, I realize I'm not too messed up for Jesus to care about me. Don't you care how I feel? Of course. You're embarrassing me. I'll catch you guys later. Shelby, come back. No, just please Don't come even. back.
No, it's nothing like that, Billy. I just felt God was drawing us here tonight. I can't explain it. I... Pastor Harper. Yes. We're out tonight just having a great time in the Lord, and I know you've been busy. You've been out amongst the late neighborhoods trying to find this family, and there they are over there. And, and it was incredible. Here's what we did. We showed them the birth announcement. We showed them wise men. We showed them angels. And I'll tell you what else we showed them. We showed them, we showed them the meaning of Christmas. We showed them how much Jesus loved them and how much Jesus loves the whole world. And we also showed them how Jesus defeated sin and death. Wow. And now, Pastor, they're ready for you to show Jesus to them. Go share with them. Hey guys, I'm Pastor Harper and this is Carolyn and Bill. We're from Colonial Heights Baptist Hi. Church. We went to your home tonight to visit you, but of course you weren't there. And we've just kind of been wandering around and we ended up back here at the mall. Hey, I'll tell you, Pastor, it doesn't matter how you got here. We're just glad God brought you here tonight for us. Well, it sounds like you've already heard you know, most of everything that I was going to share with you. I tell you, tonight, Pastor, we have had a life-changing experience. Well, what did you think about what you saw? I'll never forget it. Well, I guess I just have one question then for you that we typically ask. What do you understand it is required of a person in order to go to heaven? Well, you know, Pastor, tonight we have seen and we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And He came to this earth and died for our sins. But we understand that it's not enough just to know the facts. We want to receive Him as our personal Savior. Well, that is great. That's why we're here. We came to share Jesus with you. Could I just lead you in a prayer and get you to commit your lives to Christ? Absolutely. Well, would you just repeat after me a simple prayer, something like this? Dear God. Dear, Dear God, God. I realize that I'm a sinner. I realize that I'm a sinner. And I want you to forgive me. And I want you to forgive me. Of all my sin. Of all my sin. I accept your forgiveness. I accept your forgiveness. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. And help me now. And help me now. To live for God. To live for God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You know, the family tonight finally got it. They understood that it takes a personal relationship with Christ. And in a moment, they're going to see the grand finale to the Christmas pageant, and you will watch it with them. But first, I need to ask you a question. In your personal opinion, what do you understand it takes? Shroom God. See my family. No, we haven't. Did you hear what happened? No. Your dad, your mom, and your brother all asked Jesus to come into their lives. Their sins have been forgiven. They are a child of God. The whole family. Everyone but, but you. And I know you're so excited. Don't you want to give your life and your heart to the Lord Jesus tonight? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, look, I got my jeans, and they're really cute. And, um, you know what? Never mind. Well, don't leave. Your parents are going to be in heaven one day. <clears throat> wow. I just pray one day Shelby will realize her desperate need for a Savior. One day, along with her family, she'll see Jesus face to face. When she hears the midnight cry, she'll see the Lord Jesus for her own.
times they're appearing Yeah. 